In this video we show you how we built our pogo stick. Firstly we went about to find the K value, so we measured the original length of the spring. We then dropped weights on the spring to compress it. After compression we measured the new length and the result was tabulated. This was done several times with different weights. The next step is building the base. Firstly, we cut the metal which will fit inside the spring to stop it from bending after compression. Then we thread the piece of metal for the bolt to screw into for the spring compartment. As you can see, there wasn't any defects. The bolt would screw easily. Body strength is used to compress the weight so that the bolt would lock it into place. Under the bolt is the clutch plate which is used as the footrest. This is the assembly stage. The upper body is then bolted on, it consists of the handles, and the rod from the handle to the base. testing stage. The pogo stick works perfectly but the clutch plate was too weak so it broke. A block of wood was used instead. The base was spinning too much, so it had to be modified to reduce injury. A metal foot base was used instead but still had the spinning problem. To stop the footboard from spinning, a metal rod is attached to the bottom of the pogo stick which is a brake pad. A metal sleeve is then cut and attached to the bottom of the metal footboard. The rod is fitted inside the metal sleeve. The metal sleeve is now welded onto the bottom of the footboard. The 
metal rod is then fitted inside the metal sleeve and welded on. A piece of metal is bent and welded onto the two sleeves to stop it from bending, this give it extra strength. The pogo stick is now ready to be used. PVC pipe is fitted around the metal for its appearance. Thank you for watching.